Hey guys, welcome back to our kitchen name. It's me, Ella. Today is Vlogmas Day 28. Oh my gosh. The New Year's right around the corner. It's crazy. Anyways, I just got done recording my Whip Wednesday video. So I gotta go edit that here in just a minute. Picking up all my pieces from it. But yeah, so we're gonna go in a little bit to take Jesse to my sister's. He wants to hang out with his cousin. And then me and Devin's gonna go to the town next to us and go to the antique stores I like to visit. I'm hoping that they have already switched their Christmas displays for Valentine's Day ones. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. I don't know if they will, but uh, hopefully they will. So I can look at their Valentine's Day stuff. <laughs> uh, I didn't vlog much yesterday. I meant to, but we ended up being super busy and I wasn't expecting it. So uh, I, whatever clips I did take yesterday, I will put in at some point here. And then I'll put in today's clips as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and go edit uh, my Whip Wednesday video, and then I will catch up later with you guys. <laughs> hey guys, it is much later in the day. Same spot, same day, same outfit, all that stuff. Uh, this part's right here because I was just scratching it. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out. Anyways, uh, it's like 8.30 at night now. Uh, I did not do a good job of vlogging today. <laughs> Mostly because we were busy all that day. We did, we drove, uh, after I recorded, we went to check the mail, and... What did we do after that? We did something else after that. I don't remember what we did. We were in some errand here in town. <laughs> and then we took my son, Jesse, <laughs> to my sister's house. And then we went to the next uh, city over, me and Devin and the baby, June. And we went to the antique store that I love. And we, and we went to Five Below because I needed to get a new phone charger. Because every time I get one, Jesse ends up breaking it by accident. <laughs> but, like, if something's plugged in charging, he'll accidentally knock it off of a table or something. And it'll land just the right way to break the charger. Um, he's done it, like, four times. <laughs> but luckily, they're cheap, so it doesn't matter. Um, oh, where else did we go? Oh, we went to Ollie's, too. I didn't buy anything anywhere. At, oh, I lied. I did buy something. Other than the phone charger. I bought a Christmas ornament at the, the antique store. I don't think it's an antique one. It might be vintage. Like, you know, vintage is, I think, 20 years and older. So, anything from before the year 2000 is considered vintage now. <laughs> I'm vintage. <laughs> but, um, it's not antique. It's like a uh, beaded one. I don't know if they can make those with machines. I don't know if you can bead things with machines. Or if it's maybe handmade. I don't know. But it was beautiful. And it was 50 cents. But I forgot to bring it in here. It's in the living room. Um, I think it's a wreath. But, anyways. <laughs> then we went out to eat. We had some gift cards. So we went to use them, uh, and June did really good. She didn't throw any fits at all until on the way home when we started back. She was tired, overtired, you know? And then, so we hung out at my sister's house for a while, um, fed June milk because, you know, she had eaten food and stuff. I tried to give her milk in the truck and she was not having it. She was just really mad and wanted to be snuggled, you know? Um, so we hung out at my sister's house for a couple hours. Uh, June crawled around and played and then she ended up falling asleep on me. And when she fell asleep, that's when we left. We put her in our car seat and left. And she slept all the way home, and so did Jesse, actually. He fell asleep, too. We had to run up to my mom's um, to drop off something for my sisters, and then we came home. Anyways, now both kids are bathed and in there playing. Uh, Daddy's in there with them. So I wanted to show you guys some Christmas cards. I got quite, quite a few that I um, picked up the other day, and then the ones I picked up from today. Uh, so I wanted to share them with you really quick. Okay. So these are the first ones that I got the other day. I already got rid of the envelope, so I have to look in the cards. <laughs> okay, this is from Tina. A Snoopy one. It has glitter on it. I don't know if you can tell. And then this, I got another Snoopy one. This one is from Carla. Carla has a channel. Uh, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> uh, I can't remember. I'll link it below. I'm sorry, Carla. I forget. I just, there's just so many people. This one is from Stacy. I like, this is really cool. Like the whole card is shimmery. There's also stickers on the inside. This one is from Alicia and Cat. K with K. Cat with K. <laughs> this is like kind of 3D ish. This one is from Rail from the Dabbling Hook. She sends out these ones every year. So this is kind of what I want to do next year. But I want to make postcard ones. Instead of sending them in envelopes, I want to have like a crochet -y, Christmas Christmassy message on this side from like No Catch Your Name Crochet, you know, something like that. <laughs> and then on the back, have a place where I can, you know, write whoever it's going to address and then write a little note on there. That's what I want to do next year. 
Hopefully I can do that. I might try to do that earlier in the year. Go ahead and get them printed and go ahead and get them filled out. <laughs> so all I have to do is mail them. Uh, I might do that. This one is from Susan. This is a really pretty card. I like the ones with reefs on them. I don't know why I just do. This one is from Lisa from Happy to Hook Crochet. It's pretty too. I like the shimmeriness of the words. And this is a really cool card. This one is from Diana. And look, this is the front of it. And then when you open it, it's like a plate full of cookies. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. It's a pop-up card. She wrote the note on the back of it. And then today we picked up uh, some more. Let's see here. This one is from Tara Lynn. And she has channel two. It's called All Yarned Up. So anyone who has channel, I'll link them below. She sent a picture of her and her dog. Her rescued dog. Uh, Zoe. Ain't that cute? That's so cute. And this card, I don't think I even showed it. Pretty card. I love any of them, but it's got glitter on it. Oh, look at the little robin. That's so cute. And this one, another YouTuber. This is Angela. She Her channel is called um, Crocheting House Mouse. I like this card. It looks got like a vintage vibe to it, which I love. And then inside of it, she included an ornament. I don't know if she made that or not, but it looks like it is uh, embroidered, a snowflake, on a piece of felt, and it's on a piece of wood. I hope that I see if she made that. It's beautiful. So I got two handmade ornaments this year, and uh, these are going to go perfect on my tree next year, the handmade ones, because next year I'm going to, well, I'll talk about it in my New Year's video. I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, and then I also got a New Year's card, which is cool. I don't think I've ever got a happy New Year's card. And this is from... Uh, my, I guess my yarny friend, I guess I'm going to say, Mary. She, uh, she has sent us a lot of happy mail over the time. And she sent me a Christmas card, the cute one with a cat wearing a ugly sweater. Uh, and this is shimmery with the fireworks. And it's a happy new year card. That's so cool. So now I'm going to have to find one and send to her because that is just so cute. And her, her stamp has a barn on it. It's so cute. And I like the envelope. It's like a pretty Tiffany blue color. <laughs> But, uh, so that's all the Happy Mail I got today. And also wanted to, we got a thing from St. Jude's Hospital to donate, which I'm going to do that. Because when you donate first, you know, it helps them, but it, you also get address labels back, which is nice. Um, so I got that set aside so I can remember to donate. But this is the envelope that it came in. And, uh, oh, that's so pretty. So I'm going to keep this picture and this picture and maybe some of the trim and the red for my junk journal and then my sister got one too <laughs> so she gave me the envelope when I went there today it was so funny she saved it and I saved it and then my sister she had an extra Christmas card like the one she gave me so she gave it to me and then we got an AARP thing in the mail like trying to get us to buy it so I kept the envelope for this part right here with the plastic in it so that I could cut it out and make a little shaker for my junk journal or for a gift if I send to someone and this is the ARP stuff because we're thinking about signing up for it, but I don't know if we're going to. <laughs> and then this is another one of those with the plastic. I don't remember what this came in. Oh, I think this is, I don't, this is the one, I don't know. I don't know where they came from. And then also while I was at my sister, she gave me this box lid because she thought I might want to keep some of the stuff from it, you know, which she's right. <laughs> And then while I was there, she gave, she gave me this one because uh, she's supporting my junk journal uh, um, antics or whatever. So I get the Rudolph little picture down here and the little logo up here. And then on the back, there's an address, uh, not an address, a gift tag. So I'm going to cut that out. But yeah, so I got me a good little hunk of, uh, let me set that separate, of uh, junk journal supplies, some cards, which are, I'm actually going to be using all of my cards in my junk journal too. So if you, uh, if I do more flip throughs on my junk journal, you might eventually see your card or a piece of your card. Don't get mad if I cut up your card because it's better to keep a piece of it than to just have them sitting around forever, you know? At least that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> Anyways, these are all my other money cards. And then I went to the Dollar Tree uh, yesterday and I just picked up, I found some stickers that I like, so I picked them up. These are sunflowers. I thought they were pretty. And then these ones... Got like a vintage feel to it, but it's also got birds, which I love, and flowers, which I also love, and then butterflies. And these, this one, and this one have kind of blank spaces that you could do stuff 
write little things or something. So I thought that would be, I think it's meant for scrapbooking. But, um, you know, it's paper craft in general. Whatever. I just liked it. So I bought it. But yeah, so. Let's see here. We didn't do anything after we got home much, you know, other than just watching TV and playing games and stuff. Uh, kids are bathed. Fed. Everyone's fed. Getting ready for bedtime. Except that both of the kids stay awake, so it's not anytime soon. But yeah, so I did crochet a little bit. I meant to bring that in here too, and I forgot. I finished. Did I finish it? Yes, the the doll dress, the birthday doll dress, the dress part of it. How many times have I said that? <laughs> I did the rest of those white rolls around the middle, and I did extend it a little bit. I meant to bring it in here so I could show it to you, but I will do that tomorrow. I'll show it to you tomorrow. Um. And then I, I would like, if I get another chance, I want to work on the little booties tonight and maybe finish the hat. I'd like to get that whole little set finished. And I'd like to work on the seahorse, get it finished. <laughs> Birthday suit, um, the seahorse. There's another little project that I'm going to work on. It's, it's really quick. Two of them, actually. But the first one is my good luck charm for 2023. The last two years, I've made a good luck charm to carry over into the new year with me. The first year, 2020, I made... Um, from 2020 going into 2021 i made a fourth clover in 2021 going into 2022's new year i made a uh ladybug they're both still in my living room hanging up in my living room uh and then this year i'm making another one which i'll share with you guys on saturday is saturday the last day i think saturday's the 31st whenever the 31st is <laughs> and then i also got to do that headband uh, kit that I got from Terry. <laughs> I gotta do it tomorrow or Friday because I gotta make the video Friday. So I'd like to get all those done. Plus I want to make a chapstick holder for my key ring <laughs> uh, before the end of the year. The birthday suit is almost done. The chapstick thing and the little good luck charm are super quick. Uh, the seahorse, I don't know if I'm gonna get, get that done because there's still a lot of work on it. And then the headband, I'm hoping to get done but I don't know what I'm doing yet. I haven't thought about it. <laughs> so hopefully I can get it done. But uh, I want to get some of that done today and tomorrow and Friday is my goal is to get all that wrapped up. I did not sew today. I should have. <laughs> but we were busy. So I'm going to do some sewing tomorrow and probably Friday to get all those hook cases done. And then I, I might put them in the shop next week sometime. Um, and then I'll start working on some drawstring bag sets to put up whenever they get done. <laughs> but uh, I guess that's it for Vlogmas Day 28. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and get this video edited because it might take me a few minutes to get it transferred and all that. And then I will see you guys tomorrow. It's Thursday. So I'll see you for Vlogmas Day 29, if I can remember to vlog. And also, um, what video was I going to do tomorrow? I had an idea for a video tomorrow, but I can't remember now. So you'll see it if I do it. If not, you won't. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go. Bye, guys.